Hello, Hot Wheels racing fans, and welcome to Event 7 of King of the Track. We are one event closer to that overall championship where the fastest of the fastest will go up against each other in an exciting race. Our 16 new and fresh competitors, you can take a look at them here, all ready and anxious to race. First two up, the Mr. Mom's minivan and the Fat Fender. Getting their first look here. Minivan out into the lead over the Fat Fender around the first curve. Minivan still holding strong, now extending that lead, held a second turn look for both of them. And the Mr. Mom's minivan is gonna have it in spades. Fat Fendered, a little too Fat Fendered out there. Could not gain the speed necessary to even challenge the minivan. What about the tail dragger and the Nissan? Getting their first crack at it here. In event seven, out of the gate, it is the Nissan. Now a car length ahead. How will that first turn shake things up? The Nissan just extending that lead even further. Second turn will probably not make any a difference as the Nissan coasts to a victory. 10 to 20 car lengths in front. Tail dragger dragging behind. Almost didn't even make it to the finish. Nissan will advance to the quarterfinal round. Flat out and the Buick Riviera. Two sleek looking cars. How will they fare on the track? Flat out trying to challenge the Buick here through the first curve. He's got it for a second, but the Buick fighting back. Gonna grab back the lead. Now a car length ahead. How will the second turn look for him? Good. Extending that lead. Flat out trying to make a comeback here, but not quick enough. And the Buick is going to take it. You can see about halfway through this last straight, flat out has that burst of speed, but it is too little, too late. Jaguar, Ferrari. Third to race here, a fourth to race here. Race four of E8 in the opening round here. Jaguar had the lead there, but Ferrari's going to grab it back. Now a couple car lengths ahead. I will a second turn look. Jaguar falling more behind, and the Ferrari moving slowly will coast to victory. Jaguar certainly had a little bit of a look there as the Ferrari slowed down at the end, but it was already too far behind to make any sort of important move. You will see the Ferrari advance to the quarterfinals. Nudeless in the Porsche. Very shiny cars. Noodless way out in front, out of the gate. Not looking good for the Porsche already. I mean, at this point, is there even a contest? Second straight. Porsche is not even to the final turn. The Noodless is crossing the line. And I don't even see the Porsche. Did he even finish? No, he didn't even get to the second turn. And in all honesty, the Nublis is a difficult competitor to go against no matter what car you are, so the Porsche certainly looked even worse with that situation. Another Porsche and the Chevy Stocker, a different kind of Porsche this time. Will he fare any better? Right now it looks like no, Chevy Stocker out into the lead. A few car lengths ahead, already into the second straight, streaking ahead at high speeds. I mean, this Porsche I think will get around that second curve. Right now, I'm not even seeing him. Is he going to finish? Rolling very slowly here. And he's not going to finish. That's two Porsches in a row in the last two races that have been unable to reach the finish line. Certainly not a good look for the Porsche company today at King of the Track. You see him just come to a stop there. Did not have the energy or the ability to get there. The Cadillac 16 and the Ford 3 window or tri window. Take a look at them, Cadillac out into the lead, Ford trying to battle back around this first curve. It looks like a little bit of challenge will mount from the Ford, and he's going to grab back the lead. The second curve to his favor on the inside line. I think he's going to get it, the tri-window Ford, coasting to victory. Cadillac with a little bit of a burst at the end there of speed, but not enough. And you're going to see the Ford move on to those quarterfinals.
closer race than the last two, definitely. Mercedes and the Jaguar to get things going here. At the end of the opening round, Mercedes falling behind. Jaguar through the first curve has the lead. Mercedes trying to work it back up there. Closing the gap a bunch. How will the second curve look for him? And he will pass the Jaguar through the second curve. Have the lead. Jaguar making some moves at the end, though. Is he going to have enough time? No. Right at the end. The burst of speed came there. But not enough track left. And it was too little too late. Even a couple of feet left. And the Jaguar would have had it. But nope. Mercedes will advance. We see our eight advancing cars right here. As we go to the quarterfinals, Noodlist and the Buick Riviera. Buick Riviera is certainly going to have a tough time here against the Noodlist. And you can see that happening already. Noodlist getting out in front out of the first straight, now into the second one, and the lead starts to expand. How will the Buick respond around the second curve? No response from the Buick as he just tires out toward the end. Noodlist again with a spectacular performance out there on the track. Has not seen much of a challenge so far. He crosses the line. Nissan, Mercedes. Two similar looking cars. How are they going to fare against each other? Nissan out into the lead. Mercedes falling behind here already in the first straight. Around the first curve. Mercedes losing that gap even more. Nissan now stretching it out around the final outside line. No difference there. And then Nissan will close to victory and move on to that semi-final round. Good moves by the Nissan, straight in the track, not too much wobble, good streamlined motion. It's gonna give him the victory. Mercedes struggling there, definitely. Not his day. We got the Mr. Mom's minivan and the Ford Tri-Window. Cars. Two weird looking cars. One of them very big and one of them old timey. Right now, the minivan is in the lead by a lot, and it looks like that's where it will stay. Try window not having the speed necessary, and the Mr. Mom's minivan will be seen in the semifinals and have a shot at the finale. Chevy Stocker, Ferrari, two sleek cars. Who is faster? They come out of the gate, it's the Stocker. Through the first straight, around this first curve, this is the time for the Ferrari to make that comeback. He's neck and neck with the Stocker, but he's falling behind again. The second curve is not gonna look any better for the Ferrari. As the Chevy Stocker coasts to victory here, across the line, only a couple car lengths ahead. But once the Ferrari Fell back in that second straight, it was over. He couldn't gain the speed necessary around the last curve. And it will not end up in his favor. Four cars left as we go to the semifinals. We have Chevy Stocker, we have Nissan 280. Two cars that have dominated their respective races so far. But who's going to have the edge here? Right now the Chevy Stocker looks like he's got the edge. Nissan crawling back up there. Look at the curve here. And the Nissan's got the lead. Chevy Stocker with a move at the end though. He's going to cross the line in front. What a move. Back and forth the whole race. But the Nissan did not have it at the end. Did not keep his head down through the finish. And the Chevy Stocker took advantage of the slight hesitation. will easily advance finals. Mr. Mom's minivan, nude list, out of the gate, nude list, already out in front. Mr. Mom's minivan giving a little bit more of a challenge than the other two cars. Looks like he's not only going to finish, but actually challenge him for the lead, but the nude list around the second curve extends that lead. Mr. Mom with a little bit of a move at the end, but it's not going to work. A few car lengths behind and a few too many as the nude list will be seen in the finale going against the Chevy Stocker. Finals, as usual, the best of three. So first to win two races, Chevy Stocker and Nudlist, two dominant competitors here. 
Chevy Stock with Nudeless out of the gate. Stock are giving him a challenge here, coming into the first curve. It looks like the Nudeless is going to gain some speed out of the first curve and start to take back the race over around this second curve. Inside line for the Nudeless will be advantageous, and it will stay that way. Chevy Stocker, a little bit of a burst of speed at the end, but the Nudeless got too far out in front, and it won't fall in the favor of the Stocker. 1-0, the Nudeless. This second race, it's key. The Stocker needs to try to take that race and push it to a third race if he can. He's already lagging behind through the first turn. Chevy Stocker, he's going to get the inside line on this curve, but the lead is stretching around this curve. Chevy Stocker trying to keep up. Can't. Across the line, it is the nude list. Your event seven king of the track champion. He will advance to the finale at the end of this season. A very fast car and very deserving of the win indeed. We will see you next video for event eight of King of the Track with 16 new competitors.